The Cop Cam is a crowdfunded police body camera system. The Cop Cam features a 10 hour battery life and it cannot be turned off by the officer. Digital signing and immediate upload guarantees chain of custody verification. And the system integrates with existing dispatch and record-keeping systems. Help us fund our Indiegogo project to get a cop cam on every police officer. End police violence. Make them wear a cop cam and get the evidence. This public service video is brought to you by the American Justice Corporation. The American Justice Corporation is a nonprofit corporation incorporated in Washington, D.C. for the purpose of assisting persons with bringing complaints on their own behalf against police officers, judges, and other government officials in state and federal court. The American Justice Corporation also helps end employment discrimination against persons with criminal convictions. How to Sue a Police Officer Police officers can be sued in either state or federal court. State courts have concurrent jurisdiction over questions of federal law. This means you can sue persons in state court for violating federal law, unless there's an explicit act of Congress to the contrary. Federal courts have supplemental jurisdiction over questions of state law. This means that if state law questions are connected to the issues you're raising in federal court, you can sue persons in federal court for violating state law. You can sue police officers for violating federal civil rights laws, for violating state laws, and for common law torts. You can also bring actions in court for what are called extraordinary remedies. These include things like writs of certiorari, quorum nobis, habeas corpus, prohibition, and mandamus. These extraordinary remedies will be discussed in another video. The most common causes of action brought against police officers are for violations of Title 42, Section 1983 of the United States Code. Under the same chapter of federal law, you can also bring actions for conspiracy and negligence under Sections 1985 and 1986 of the same code. Civil rights violations by state officers are also a federal crime and can be a felony. Those statutes can be found under Title 18, Sections 241 and 242 of the United States Code. If a state officer violates one of those sections of federal law, you can file a complaint with the Department of Justice by reporting them to the United States Attorney's Office or to the FBI. Under Title 28, Section 1361 of the United States Code, you can file an action to make a federal officer do their job. 
This law can be used to make FBI agents arrest persons who violate civil rights laws or to compel the United States Attorney to prosecute them. All persons have a common law right to arrest somebody who commits a crime. If a person commits a felony in your presence, you have the common law right to arrest them. In some cases, if a person commits a misdemeanor, you can arrest them as well. The laws in your state will explain what the procedure for arrest is. The most important consideration is that if a person is arrested, that you need to bring them to a police station or to a judge immediately. The courts of the United States publish all the forms that you need to bring a civil rights complaint against a police officer or other government official. As with everything discussed in this video, the links to those documents are in the description below. The best way to learn how to write a complaint is to read complaints that have already been filed with the court. Some of these complaints were written by attorneys. Others were written by persons bringing the complaints on their own behalf. To do this, the court has a system called PACER. PACER stands for Public Access to Court Electronic Records. The PACER system is available online and at the courthouse. The complaint must allege jurisdiction and state why venue is proper for the court you're filing in. The complaint must state a claim for relief. The complaint must allege facts upon which the claims are based. The complaint must allege damages. And the complaint must request relief. When you file the complaint, you'll need to include a cover sheet and you'll need to have summonses signed and sealed by the clerk. A summons is a notice to the other party that they are being sued. You'll need to serve copies of the complaint and the summonses on the other party. If you can't afford to pay the filing fee, you can file the complaint for free in form of pauperous, and the court will serve the complaint and summons for you. The most important source of information for filing a complaint and prosecuting it is the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. You'll also need to read the local rules of whatever court in which you file the complaint. If you'd like to see some examples of actual lawsuits that have actually been filed, go to fireacop.com and click the link for lawsuits. If you're using a mobile device, click the Learn button to get to our desktop site.